the great Kevin the Gandhi. Kev! Ed, I'm here to kind of make you smile today. I, I, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try to bring some positivity to your life. Yeah, I love you. I don't know how you could do it. I mean, other than my kids, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Uh, I despise. So now I'm in such a bad place, Kevin. Like, yeah. I, I, I'm about to write off the whole NBA. I'm about to just turn my back. I, I can't take it. I'm so livid. I, I'm so. I'm first of all. I'm disgusted by the behavior of that kid. That spoiled, rotten, disgusting child of a ball player. Mm. Mm. I'm disgusted yeah. by it all. And the fact that Doc Rivers would pander makes me disgusted by him. Oh, we want him back. We're going to make it work. You know what I'd say? I'd say bleep him. He's going to rot and he's going to choke on dust. That's what I would say. <laughs> that this league wants to pander to LeBron James, clutch, everything else. It's disgusting. And it's just a bunch of disgusting, spoiled crybabies. Cry, cry, cry. Sick so of it. I, and how I would look at it is this. I... I I think I think sometimes we can get it all mixed up, and I'm not coming to the defense of of uh, people from the outside. I, I, I think I think we got to look at this as as what it is right in front of us, specifically Ben Simmons and the Sixers, and not not include the LeBron and Clutch really thing. Yeah, I, no, no, no. I'm trying to do that right now with this. Yeah, well, uh, you could try to I, do that. I'm not. I don't. I don't think. I don't think. I'm not pandering any, to any of this nonsense. Uh, you know, you know, I went through all the emotions that you're you're feeling over the last Holmes. Uh, I'm not months. emotional, Holmes. I'm not. You're, you're not emotional. Not you're, at all. You're not emotional. Nope. Uh, you're passionate. You're passionate. How about that? You're you're passionate about. Here's the deal. Here's the doing. deal. I look at life, all right, th- through a simple prism of right and wrong. Okay. Yeah. I, I just look at it through the simplicity of doing the right thing. Which, listen, there are times when we all are fallible and we're all misguided. We go down a wrong path. However, this path continues to go around the same, 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 same path. And what's going on is really a disgusting display of excess. It's a disgusting display of of society's ills it's it's rome burning because of excess i don't want to be uncomfortable so i don't want to go back to philadelphia oh, ab- absolutely i don't want to be unco- let's go to the path of least resistance right how i view it I, and i and i've used this comparison a lot when you know we saw what happened with carson wentz i think we went through a, similar emotions on this organization has its faults and they tried to give him everything. And then the minute there was some resistance with Jalen Hurts in the locker room, suddenly he doesn't play well. Now, trade me. I'm gone. I don't want to come back, right? It, it's similar to a certain extent here. Hey, you criticize me. You've given me everything. I've Everything's been handed to me. And now there's some resistance, and I don't want to deal with it. And what I take from the Carson Wentz situation is when you, when you watch what the first couple of weeks have been like, right, one of the things I think of is, hey, he's an exceptional talent, never healthy. We don't have to deal with that anymore. And and some things, no matter what, will never change. And there's certain things that will never change that we try to kind of it bang bang a circle in a square, right? You're just like, how come it won't fit? Like everything, we're doing everything possible. That's how I look at Ben Simmons. Kevin, 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 let me ask it's you a question. Same thing. Kevin. It's not the same thing. Kevin, where does Ben Simmons have the balls not to show up when he is paid? He's in the middle of a max contract. Where does he get the balls to not show Carson, up, didn't Kevin? Get, didn't Carson get the, the, the largest contract ever and just say, trade me, I don't want to come back and play for uh, it's, but how, They're two different people. I, 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 I don't care about Wentz. Wentz is not my problem same, right now. He's it, not here. It, it's the same behavior, though. It's the same behavior back in January that you're feeling where you're like, 
No, least, it's not the same. It's different. Supported you. It's different. We supported you. But what's different, Ed? No, it's di- it's a di- it's listen. It, it, the whole thing's different. I I, I the, how I feel about Simmons is not how I feel about Wentz. I don't really care about Wentz. Wentz wanted out. Cause, see, you, the the organization didn't want him either, right? But, but you, this organization wants this organization wants Simmons. At the end, of the, the Eagles season, didn't want the Eagles. The Eagles didn't even. The, the Eagles didn't want Wentz. At the end of the season, the organization, the Sixers organization, made it known that we were not sure if this is the direction that we can Come go. On, and dude, let's not forget, stop. Let's not forget. Oh, that's they were nonsense. In talks to trade James Harden for James Harden. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm sorry. That's a big affront. Oh, I'm trading you for an for an, a perennial All Star, a Hall of Famer. But I guess what I'm trying to tell you is that's disgusting. You were, you were emotionally invested in Ben Simmons. And no one was a bigger supporter than you and me. But I will tell you this: when when Ben Simmons goes somewhere, I can't take goes, this conversation. I, I love I, you. I, 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 I'm, I'm, no, I, 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 dude, guys, let me finish. Yeah, let get, me finish. Spit all your national Simmons, nonsense. When Ben Simmons goes somewhere, when he's traded somewhere, and I, I will tell you one thing: some things will never change. The same way some things never change with Carson Wentz. This is who the, he is. Ben Simmons will not be a better shooter. I don't think he'll be so a what? that's ever going to be comfortable. So what? Well, we don't have to worry about that anymore. We move Dude, on. Dude, let me tell you like, something. The- let me tell you something. Here's why you got to worry about it. Because if you don't move him for a true star, you lose the max contract. So you're not going to be I- any good. You can't compete. He but holds man, you hostage. to this? Like bringing them back, like like what's your solution? My solution is my solution I is wait and wait and wait they are. until. Oh, we'll see. They're going to wait. They're well, going to have to wait because you know what's going to happen. And what's going to happen is the first month of the NBA season. There's going to be a team that has expectations. Well, that's well. Listen, I, I'm on board with that. I'm on board so, that you sit and wait and let them collect dust until yes. I can get a star in return. 100%. So we agree on that. Yes. So I don't know why you're so upset about it today. Like, okay, I'm I'm upset. I'm upset, I'm, I'm upset because it, it's a, a a player who has been given everything. One hundred percent right. Who Absolutely. who spit in the face of a franchise that gave him everything? I'm 100%. upset because it's wrong. I completely and agree I'm obsessed with you. because. I'm upset because that league has fallen into a pool of excess, and it's gross. I'm 100% with you when I look at it as the isolated, because, hey, listen, when yeah, you're carrying all that stuff around, it's not going to help in this argument because there's just nothing's going to change. We're still going to watch. I'm still oh, going to watch are? the NBA. And you, you can enjoy, enjoy it. You, you're Knock not yourself watch out. Beat? You're not going to watch him be? Dude, I, listen to me. If if they trade him for 20 cents on the dollar, I'm out. But I don't think they're going to trade okay, him. Okay, well, then, well then the great. I, I'm but let me see gonna, it happen. I'm not going to. Well, you you could call LeBron, call your boy Clutch, I don't, don't and, do this, and, and, and make a trade man. for us. Ed, don't do this. And shoot us, jump in because don't do this, Ed. Don't make this like it's me who's doing this. I'm trying I'm to. I'm busting your stones. Relax with uh, the reasonable. No, but I, you know where you know where you piss me off is where you go right. emotional. Oh, you're emotional about this. You just no. said you're mad. You said you're angry. No, again, again, there's an affront here. There's an affront to right and wrong. And if you're not angry, then you're not for goodness. I am beyond angry, but I, I also... So don't talk me I'm down by going, oh, you're a little emotional. I will, shoot, I was, I was furious. I've gone through the what? Stop it's with the Wentz conversations and this and that. I'm talking but about the Simmons. Stuff has helped me. It has helped me process how I'm going to look at Ben Simmons because it's like, hey, you know what? I don't. We don't need to worry about that anymore. And you get to a point where getting, getting frustrated over this Gets us nowhere with this dude because this dude does not care about anybody in the city. Well, he I agree is with so that. So moved on. So well, of course. Why am I going to waste my time worrying about that guy? I'm not Let's worried just... about him. I'm worried about what he could possibly do to the franchise. So listen to me. I'm happy if it plays out the way you think it'll play out. All right. I'm happy if that's the case, and they go land Damian Lillard. Hey, I'm down. 
Well, Save, shoot, we saved I, the I franchise. We'll, we'll throw a parade if they can land Damian Lillard. I'm not saying they're going to. I'm just saying that they're not going to trade him 20 cents on the dollar now. But in a, a, a month into the season, you come knocking. Do you get you collect assets to eventually get something? You need a third team involved. Okay, we got to see. But uh, here's the thing. We don't want him back. The city doesn't want him back. He doesn't want to come and, back. And you know what? You don't think I'm angry is here's Doc. Doc's on Stephen A. Doc goes, oh, well, we want to make sure we rectify this. And, like, I know he's got to say it. It's just disgusting. I'm so disgusted yeah. by the whole thing. I mean, yeah. come on, Kevin. I agree. But the, the, guy is not, the, the guy is not going to change. This is who he is. I understand it's- that. But, and we don't need to deal with it anymore. That's the one thing I'm looking at. Is like, like in the beginning, I was really ticked off about how the Wentz thing played. I bring this up because it's similar in the sense of guy got a big deal, organization gave him whatever he wanted. The minute he found some uh, some resistance, it's like I want out of here. They're not treating me well. And the one thing I was always reminded is it's no longer our problem because that. That mentality is never going to change, where it's never your problem, it's not, it's not my fault, it's about my ego, and how you, you hurt me. And that's the same thing in this situation. We don't need to worry about it anymore, because once it's somebody else's problem once the trade happens. Now, Grant, we won't, we'll get maybe 50 cents of the dollar, but you've got to just wipe your hands clean. And sometimes an addition is best by a subtraction, and you move on. And, and, and it stinks. It really stinks at where this organization could have been at. But that's just the reality that we've got to deal with here. And I, I, I've gotten, I've gone through all the stages. I feel you. I understand. I'm not sticking up for a league or anything like that. It's just it's helping me better cope with it because there's nothing I can do except bang my head on a wall if I keep on playing this whole scenario out on how he's turning his back on us. I'm rooting apocalypse. <laughs> and one one of these days, I got to come to the city, and we got to do a full hour. I would love it. Uh, I, I would enjoy. love it. And we'll we'll do the one o'clock hour, so we can go get lunch and get beers after. Hell yes! All right. Yeah. One one of these days. I would love it, buddy. How the kids? They're doing great. The seven year old threw a touchdown pass. The nine year old in the flag football oh, game. Oh my man! And there was nothing better. Like just. Just, no, just nothing better seeing that. And it'll be their only season. We're gonna, they're gonna play together, and uh, the second grader could not stop smiling. So, um, life is good on my end, and I can't complain, brother. Thanks uh, for asking. Uh, I love it. I love it. That's fantastic. All uh, right, listen. Give him a hug, Eagles, Cowboys, Monday night, brother. There we go. That'll put a smile there on your face. There we go, man. We turn things around. All, All right, right, brother. I can't wait. We love you. Thanks, Kev. Hey, Take care, buddy. Kevin the Gandhi, ESPN. I love Kevin. I feel bad that I had to put him in the spot, but listen, I'm I I can't take it anymore. I can't take this league. It's this. It just completely repulses me.